Hello, in this video, we're gonna cover math concepts involving electricity, uh, including power, uh, voltage, current, resistance, and charge. Uh, first off, the content and language objectives. Content objective is I can solve electricity problems involving voltage, current, resistance, power, and charge. Uh, language objective is I can write my own definitions of electricity vocabulary terms. Uh, so first off, uh, voltage, current, resistance. Uh, voltage is measured in volts, shown by a capital V. Uh, current is use, uh, uses the symbol I or A uh, and is measured in amps. Resistance uh, is measured in ohms, use the symbols R or an omega symbol. Uh, and so what voltage is, is like electrical potential. Uh, current is electrical flow. Uh, resistance impedes or slows the flow of electricity. Uh, the equation that you use for this is V equals I times R. Voltage is equal to current times resistance. Uh, and you can use a triangle for this if it helps you. Uh, and so you can see in this triangle, whatever symbol you cover up or eat out of this cookie uh, in the example, uh, you are left with, uh, for a current, uh, I is equal to V divided by R. Uh, just some examples to go through for problems. It says, if the voltage of the circuit is 4.5 volts and the resistance is 27 ohms, what is the current? Uh, the first thing you want to do is determine uh, what you're given in the problem. And so we are given 4.5 volts, 27 ohms, and we're asked to solve for current. So we're given voltage in yellow, we're given resistance in red, and we're asked to solve for current uh, that is shown in green. Uh, and so the equation we want to use is I is equal to V divided by R, uh, because we are solving for the green symbol. And so uh, the way that you would solve for that is to take the uh, yellow symbol divided by red. Uh, plug in the values that were given. You take 4.5 divided by 27. Make sure you don't fall into the trap of just taking the big number divided by the little number. And when you go through and solve, you come up with 0 0.166 amps as an answer. Another equation that we'll use here involves voltage, current, and power. Uh, and so what power is, is like the flow rate of water in the analogy given here. Uh, and you can see in the picture here, uh, five watts on the light bulb to the left is not very brightly lit, uh, but 10 watts on the, the right is. And so wattage you'd see uh, for measurements on smartphone chargers, for example. A slow charger might be five watts, a fast charger might be 45 watts. Again, an example problem, it says if the current in a circuit is 0 0.5 amps and the power is nine watts, what is the circuit's voltage? And again, what you need to do is just identify what you're given. We're given current in amps, 0 0.5 amps. Uh, we're given watts, which is a unit of power, uh, 9 watts, and we're asked to solve for voltage. Uh, so the equation we want to use if we're solving for voltage is P divided by I. Again, if you're covering up the V in voltage, you have the symbol P over I, power over current. Uh, filling in the values that were given, you take 9 divided by 0 0.5. And what you come up with for an answer is 18 volts. Uh, our voltage for this example would be 18 volts. Uh, finally, uh, one of the last equations that we've got here involves charge, current, and time. Uh, the picture to the left here shows uh, different electrons moving throughout a FET simulation. And so uh, the rate of charge moving is what current is. Current is the flow of electrons. Charge is like the number of electrons uh, that have moved past a given point. And so you can see on the very right hand side of this FET uh, simulation, there's an open switch. So what's the current through that section of the circuit? It's zero amps because you have zero electrons passing that point per second. Uh, the current would be highest with the light bulb uh, where it's listed as 1.5 amps because you have this uh, greater flow of electrons per second through that point. Uh, just another example of problem. It says, if there is a charge of 18 coulombs that pass a point in four seconds, what's the current? Uh, step number one, uh, identify the different units in this problem. We have 18 coulombs, that's a unit of charge. Uh, we have four seconds, that's a unit of time, and you're asked to solve for current. Uh, the equation that you use for this is I is equal to Q divided by T, uh, because again, we're solving for current. Uh, looking at that triangle, if you cover the I, you have Q atop T. Uh, plug in the values that are given, 18 and 4, and you come up with an answer of 4.5 amps. Uh, that is the end of this video, uh, covering some basic 
electricity math concepts. If you have any questions, please make sure you stop by during homework help uh, or period 1A if you have any questions. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day.